Hey, uh, Jet, we had uh, some guy named Ricky Carmichael in here a couple weeks ago. I don't know if you heard Yeah. And we were talking about you, and, and McGrath was in here, and, and obviously talking about your future, and it looks great, and all of that. Uh, RC was saying, and, and, and tell us how you do this. RC was saying, look, when I was winning, I just I had no distractions. I was very focused. I was so you know into it and all that. And we know that from Ricky. And he said, you know, I just wonder about Jet's distractions and and and, and, and you know you do the stuff with the cat and you're very fan friendly and you're out there. And we know you're doing the work. You don't win if you don't do the work like you're doing. But do you think like how do you stay how do you stay away from distractions? I mean, you know, you got your dad, you got Hunter. I get all that. Um, who who. You know, who kind of keeps you on that path, or do you think that at times you have to be brought back in because you do get distracted because you're a kid? Or is there anything to Carmichael saying that, you know, um, that, you, that he worries about distractions for you? I, I can definitely agree because he's obviously, obviously gone. Like, I mean, he's obviously seen all of the, like, the progression of, like, motocross and supercross. But back in his day, social media and that stuff wasn't as big mm-hmm. as now it is. And, I mean, my first year, like, I kind of got this chucked in, and, and where I started was how it is nowadays. The social media is such a bigger platform now than it is. So, mm-hmm. for me, it's not, it's just normal for me, you could say. It's not a distraction because it's not like I'm trying to be, like, it's not like it's new right. for me, basically. I was born in 2003, so I was born into phones, and then, bro- bring up with all internet, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all of that stuff. So it's not not different for me at all. So, I mean, more of an old school, like uh, Osho says, uh, says it also, and, uh, and Ricky also, because back, back in their time, they had phones and that stuff, but I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure it was more of the flip phones, and <laughs> Instagram wasn't, much of a, <laughs> wasn't so as big then. Right. When... Um, like, I don't even know go. if MySpace existed when Ricky was racing. <laughs> no, I don't think so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like exactly. Like I mean, it's such a different uh, space now than it was in the uh, like earlier motocross season. You could say it's a, such a different platform of racing. It's twenty four seven. You have a camera there in your face. It's going on Instagram. It's going on YouTube. It's mm-hmm. going on TikTok. It's going like going everywhere. So I think because I, I got brought into it, it's just it's normal. It's not like a, it's uh, some totally new like hey we just brought out this new camera out of nowhere and we're going to start posting on this new app like it's yeah, yeah. been around so long where it's just kind of like hey that's normal and it's you you can't change it so i deal with it and i'm used to it now where it doesn't it doesn't it's not a distraction at all i mean i'm just used to it now where it's just basically normal life mm, yeah interesting yeah I, I mean again like you don't win outdoor championships and, and and win as many races without doing all the stuff off the bike and you know at, during the week so yeah, I, just, I think just Ricky was saying like, yeah, man, you know, you're gonna uh, you're gonna get a lot of um, uh, of uh, uh, people coming your way, media and outside opportunities and all of that, and I guess that's Mertz and Dazzy's job to figure that out. Yeah, right? um, and for uh, and another example, and nowadays is social media is where we make most of our money, like like this this right now, like uh, it's a podcast going onto YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's probably gonna be bits and pieces onto uh instagram you could say yep so it's like part of it's a job basically now so that's and it's the same thing for us we make our money off of posting stuff on social media with sponsors and mm-hmm. being a name of outside sponsors reaching in kind of doing posting that stuff so now it's like it's basically part of our, uh my job to basically be all in the kind of not limelight but yep. do the social media stuff and all of that uh, do you get tired of of doing? Do you ever get? I mean, look, you're a personable kid. You're funny. You uh, you get it. Uh, uh, all of that stuff. Do you get tired of Feld or the media or hey, we're doing a, a vlog or we you, you need to post it on Instagram? Do you get tired of that sometimes? And you're just like you're just like leave me alone, everybody. Do you, is it does that ever happen for you? Are you you ever like that? Uh not really. No. I mean, like I said before, I'm uh, I'm used to it, and yeah. uh, and now it's. It's part of my job to do that. If uh, if it makes, I got I got a post. It's not like a, oh, I don't feel like it today. I mean, it's not like I can someone ask for an interview. I go, I oh, know I just don't feel like it today. Yeah, because then it's gonna get put out as a as a <laughs> bad uh, bad figure. Really, I mean, 
people seeing that it's going to be like, oh he's a bit of a tosser like yeah, not, yeah. just doesn't feel like it so I mean it's I look at it nowadays more as a job so I mean no I don't think uh, I'll probably eventually might get bored of it but I still have that job uh, side of things in the back of my head they're going no you got to do this yeah. part of your job yep. you get to do this so do it suck it up and just uh, do an do a interview as a first coming in you're de- like you're pumped as a kid to get interviewed yeah, so. yeah good point alright 